Good day, Tinkercad friends. I'm going to take you back in the code box and we're going to play with our greatest wall of all time project. If you did not complete that project, I will put the instructions for it right at the beginning of this so that you can complete those and then come back to this training when you're done and turn our wall into a cool house. Check it out. First things first, you need to visit code blocks. Remember, skip the samples at the top and slide down and find your greatest wall. Mine is all the way over here. And when it opens, remember the code is pretty darn slick. We had bricks that were eight by five with a height of four. And we took that brick and turned it into a layer. And then we built a wall. When you hit play, I'm gonna speed it up so that we can just show this really quick. It makes our cool little wall, but it mentions that we are bumping up against the primitives uh, limit. There's a limit of 200, which I had not taken into account. So right now I need you to fix that by changing it to size five and making the height of our walls five. Now when you hit play, boom you've got a nifty little wall that's not using as many primitives so we're not bumping up against the limits real quickly i'm going to arrange my screen a little different by zooming out and i'm going to put my brick right beside my variables i'm going to put my layer right beside my brick and i'm going to put my wall out there as well because i'm done with those pieces i'm going to show you real quick if you put your wall too high and hit play It'll give you an error because it's above it. But if you just slide it down so they're on the same row, then you can have all of your stuff organized so you've got more room to build when you zoom back in. We are going to create a new object called a house. Bring that out. Click your rename and type house. If you haven't already guessed, houses are built with walls. So bring out the add copy of an object, switch to your data, grab the wall variable, put it in, and then also change the color. And then I'm going to tell you that we want to rotate our first wall so that we can get it to the side where we need it. So go back to your modify, find the rotate, switch it to Z because we're looking from the top down and we want to rotate it 90 degrees. And then don't forget, you got to tell it where you're rotating from the pivot. Our pivot is from the zero, zero corner, which is right in the middle. When you hit play now, you will have a second wall that is over on the side where zero, zero was. Remember, this is our X. So let's go back to move it. And let's see if we can move it to a good location to the left. I'm going to tell you to start by fives, and I want to go negative five. Let's hit play and see how far it goes over. Notice I've got that speed all the way up so that it happens quickly. We can zoom in and take a look. Negative five is pretty close. I'm gonna instead make it negative eight. Let's see what that looks like. That leaves a gap. So then we'll try negative six. That's pretty close, and then I just looks like I need to move my Y. I'm going to go 3, which will be back in that direction. Let's see if I like that. That's not bad. I can work with that. You can work on making yours more perfect. But now here's the neat part. You just bring down those parts you just built. You do Control-C and Control-V to make a second wall. Change the color so you can tell which one you're working with. I'm going to change this into a positive 20 because I want to keep the Y's the same. And you can see 20 moved to that far. So then just move by 5's or 10's until you're happy and narrow it down. Since I haven't copied or pasted anything else, I can just do Control V and bring out my third wall. I'm going to make it another color. When you're all done, you can bring them back and make them one color. Now this wall is a little different because it is the exact same orientation as our first wall, so we can get rid of the rotation. I'm going to move it 30 forward, and when we hit play, let's see how close that is for the guess. So I guessed okay, but I want to change its color. 
and I definitely want to get rid of the Z, uh, negative 6 because that way it'll be lined up and then I'm gonna try 35 and work until my numbers are perfect so I'm close but not quite and of course I've still got this messed up because I'm challenging you to solve that on your own let's add our fourth wall which is that purple wall by doing control V and what this does is allow us to delete the wall that was there so pick a different color I'm gonna go with blue just like a moment ago I'm gonna pull this apart because I don't need this and this one doesn't have to rotate or anything because it was already in the correct spot so now when I hit play I've got the full house building and then I can go to that trick where I delete the object layer because it's an in uh, so then we simply need to bring out the delete object wall so the old purple wall goes away let's make a new word roof by clicking modify and bringing out the object as usual click on rename and type roof or roof depending on how you like to look at it and we want to make the roof out of a shape like the roof you could also use the pyramid or any of the others but let me show you how this works when you bring it out pick a number I'm gonna just try 40 and then when you hit play it's going to show up down in your building and it's going to be way too small so see how that's at the bottom and it's not the right size and that's because it draws at zero zero so we're going to add a couple things first let's add a move all right so this length is obviously along the side of our house but we have to move it so right now let's move y 25 forward and see if that puts it in the middle not quite so let's try 20 so right there we've got our Y lined up pretty good let's move our X let's go 15 to the right see how close that is to the middle and we're looking for the middle of the blue wall because I remember didn't fix my first wall maybe we're gonna try 2020 that's pretty good and then we got to raise it up let's try 22 so I've got it close I'm gonna change that to 26 I like that if we look at it it's one high so I'm gonna make it 25 and then you remember have to hit play to test it and then notice it's not the right width on the scale of X so we're gonna bring out a scale of X and type in a number like 2 and press play and check out how well it fits and just keep adjusting those numbers till you're perfect alrighty friends let's add a door super quick first move your delete object wall which deletes that purple wall and let's put a comment in so we know what we're doing after the blue wall let's put the word door so we're gonna cut out a door we're gonna make that wall that door out of a box drop that underneath turn it into a hole you can reconnect your delete object and then change its measurements to 5 30 and 10 if you hit play super quick you'll notice your wall appears on this left edge we're going to change that with a move find your modify and we are going to put in the following numbers in between that move give it a 15 a 0 and a 5 so it's going to move 15 over and 5 up so it's in a door location and then when you're done with that we want the object to group after the wall deletes when you hit play pop you've got a cool house with a cut out door you can use that same technique to insert windows all the way through here just remember if you do a window you're gonna have to do a rotation hey there friends i hope you enjoyed this project and if you did please hit that like button if you haven't hit subscribe please hit subscribe if you got a question or a comment please leave it down below and click that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when i make a new movie thanks for watching friends i hope you enjoyed this tinkercad project and keep tinkering